So I stumbled across a story that was really disturbing that's not receiving the coverage that it actually deserves. So Donald Trump, someone who's against net neutrality, he is tapping Rupert Murdoch, who is a right-wing billionaire responsible for producing propaganda networks in multiple countries like the United States and Australia and other countries. He's asking this guy to suggest people who he thinks should be appointed as the next FCC chair. So The Verge explains News Corp CEO Rupert Murdoch may have a significant influence in the next four years of American telecom policy. According to a new report from the New York Magazine's Gabrielle Sherman, President-elect Trump has asked the conservative Australian broadcast titan to submit names of his preferred candidates for chair of the Federal Communications Commission. Current chairman Tom Wheeler plans to step down when Trump takes office, and the president-elect is expected to nominate a successor in the weeks to come. There's no guarantee Trump will follow Murdoch's recommendations, but the news suggests Murdoch already wields significant influence in the incoming administration. Sherman's source says Murdoch is also lobbying for further conditions on AT&T's proposed acquisition of Time Warner, potentially because he sees the new conglomerate as a threat to his holdings. The FCC advisors on Trump's transition team have been staunch critics of Wheeler's work as FCC chair, which included historic new protections for net neutrality. Trump's incoming chair will likely seek to reverse those protections, although it's still unclear how difficult that process will be. Now, this story should give everyone nightmares. It's it's really it's really scary. The internet is at stake here. They're basically going to effectively gut net neutrality, which would destroy the internet as we know it. Now, this isn't just about the internet. What they're trying to do is get people to the FCC who will be friendly to the idea of allowing these large mergers between, for example, Comcast and Time Warner, which has not been allowed thus far. Now, when I say that the freedom of the internet is at stake, I'm not being hyperbolic here. Currently, internet service providers are required to be neutral in their delivery of internet services. So, for example, if Comcast sees Netflix as competition, well, they're currently not allowed to slow down Netflix's streaming service since they're required to treat everyone neutral. It's called net neutrality. So if Republicans get their way, then what Comcast can do is they can then strangle the internet services of uh, Netflix, and then they could propose an alternative and say, well, look, Netflix, they're slow all of a sudden. Why don't you come to the new Comcast version of Netflix, and then they'll profit extremely well from that and so it's a way to cut off competition uh and worst off i think is that it actually sets up a huge problem when it comes to censorship so for example if a particular website reports on the shady businesses of time warner well then time warner can strangle the internet speed of that website so any traffic going to that website they can really limit it so it's almost unbearable and people just stop trying to go to that website. They can do that and basically kill off the speech of people who are speaking out against them. They can uh, censor people who they disagree with. So if they see that there's too many people on YouTube that are speaking out against uh, right-wing policies, well, they could cut off the speed to YouTube. So what you're allowing is basically corporate fascism where telecommunications companies and internet service providers can control what we say and what we see and it's really really troubling i mean if you destroy the internet then that hinders democracy because twitter and facebook these are responsible for catalyzing the arab spring in 2011 without this i don't think people in egypt or tunisia would have been able to mobilize so the internet is really important for democracy and this is a utility that we all need but Donald Trump and his appointment to the FCC, well, he's given us every indication that we are going to have to fight back like hell. Now, I want to remind everyone that Tom Wheeler was not originally keen on the idea of net neutrality. He was actually a former Comcast lobbyist, and Obama appointed him because he donated upwards of 500000 to Obama's presidential campaigns. So his appointment was the result of Obama rewarding a campaign donor, which is corruption. And one of the first duties that Tom Wheeler tried to do as new FCC chair was kill net neutrality. But Tom Wheeler's plan never came to fruition. And that's because when he announced new rules that would create fast lanes for certain companies, uh, basically gutting net neutrality, well, he was met with resistance that he's never seen before. So for example, people literally showed up to his house and refused to allow him to leave to go to his job at the FCC uh, when he announced that he was going to betray America. So, I'm sorry, but we can't let you go to work today because you work for Comcast, Verizon, and AT&T, and not for the people. 
And so we can't let you go there because you're selling us out on internet neutrality and that's not okay with us. So we want to know which side you're Stand on, up. Tom. Stand up. So, so wait a minute. I remember meeting you. Yeah, you did. Yes, you did. Good to meet you. Was Brian? Is that Kevin. Right? Kevin. Save the internet, Tom. Great. It's not good enough to be doing this hybrid crap. Reclassification you can't all the pretend. way. There's not, this is not a photo op for you to pretend like you're saving the it's, internet. We I'm standing here. I'm saving. Put the video on. No, you're it's not. Uh, we've been video. No, you're not saving the internet. It's about the people have said, Tom. The people have said. Don't let very clear the internet they want. die. Time, Time to, to reclassify. reclassify. Don't, Don't let, let the internet, internet die. die. Time, Time to reclassify. reclassify. Don't let let the it's not a negotiation. Die. The people Time have said you can't ignore the people, Tom. Thanks, guys. You can't ignore the people. Thanks. Don't let the internet die. We're sticking around. We're sticking around. We're sticking around. So what am I supposed to do? I, That's I your problem. Do. That's your problem. We don't Maybe think you're working for us right now. You're working for the Comcast. It's not to save Comcast. It's not to save Comcast. Which side are you on, Tom? I'm on your side. I'm on the side. I'm on the side. Which side are you on? No, you are not. Are you with the people, Tom, or with the telecoms? And again, this isn't just about uh, keeping the internet free and open. This is about consolidation of the market. They want someone who's going to be uh, approving these gigantic mergers between uh, Time Warner and Comcast. But I just have a very uh, important message to whoever is Donald Trump's FCC chair. If you plan on destroying the internet, guess what you have to look forward to? Grassroots resistance on a level that you've never seen before, because we will do everything in our power to stop you. And you could bet your ass that you will be stopped. There will be hell to pay. Leave the internet alone. Keep your hands off of it. Support this podcast by joining the independent progressive media revolution today at humanistreport.com.